Like its preceding years, 2021 delivered some genuinely phenomenal slices of television. With no drop in quality in sight, taking a look ahead at 2022 and beyond throws up a slew of hopefully great TV shows that will likely have us all eagerly tuning in week to week. I'm Jess from What Culture, and here are nine upcoming TV shows that will break the internet. Number 9. Moon Knight Comic book-based shows are all the rage right now, and few upcoming such series have the attention as much as the Oscar Isaac-fronted Moon Knight. Set within the Marvel Cinematic Universe, this six-episode show will land on Disney Plus and will exist as part of the MCU's Phase 4 of projects. From the images and brief footage made available so far, longtime Marvel Comics fans are hugely intrigued by how Moon Knight will play out. The look of Isaac's dark hero immediately impresses, and the color palette of of what's been seen bodes extremely well to fit in with the tone of the comic book character. As for that character, Mark Spector is a former Marine suffering from dissociative identity disorder, unwittingly becoming a conduit for the Egyptian Moon God. In addition to Moon Knight, Disney Plus also has the hotly anticipated She-Hulk, Secret Invasion, Ms. Marvel, Iron Heart, Armor Wars, and a Wakanda-based series all on the way as part of the upcoming small screen output of Phase 4. Number 8. Bel Air Landing on Peacock this February, Bel Air features the same characters you know and love from the iconic Fresh Prince of Bel Air, yet this is a vastly different show to its predecessor. Co-written and directed by Morgan Cooper, whose 2019 faux trailer for Bel Air inspired this fresh take on an old favourite, and produced by Will Smith, Bel Air puts a dramatic spin on the loose premise of the 90s show. Starring Jabari Banks as Will, there's a far more serious tone to the lead character's troubled past in Philadelphia and subsequent move to LA to stay with his uncle Phil and Aunt Viv. The simple fact that Bel Air is giving a fresh look of paint to such a beloved IP means it's guaranteed to have the internet talking one way or another. Number 7. The Midnight Club Mike Flanagan, Netflix, Horror Yeah, that's probably all you need to know. Those three ingredients have made for a couple of special shows in recent years, with Netflix housing Flanagan's The Haunting of Hill House and The Haunting of Bly Manor, not to mention most recently Midnight Mass. While Bly Manor was a smidge less terrifying than Hill House, both miniseries hit home in a big way and received plaudits from critics and fans alike. And this year, Flanagan returns to Netflix with his next horror offering, The Midnight Club. Adapted from Christopher Pike's 1994 novel of the same name, The Midnight Club will send on seven terminally ill young adults who reside at the Rotterdam House Hospice. Meeting up every night, at midnight of course, to tell each other scary stories, the group eventually make a pact that the first of them to die will communicate with the rest of them from beyond the grave. When someone does die, Rotterdam House soon becomes home to strange and bizarre goings on. The reaction to Hill House and Bly Manor pretty much guarantees the Midnight Club will instantly become water cooler talk as soon as the series arrives on Netflix which is due to be towards the end of 2022. Number 6. The Sandman From the legendary Neil Gaiman, The Sandman is a wonderful comic book saga which ran for 75 issues from 1989 to 1996. Touted for adaptation since the late 90s, the extensive detailed source material has often been deemed too intricate to ever be spun into a movie, despite several attempts to get such a project off the ground by Warner Brothers. Thankfully, developing Sandman as a TV series means there's plenty more time available to let the theme of the story and its key characters be fleshed out across, in this instance, 11 episodes of big budget television. Tony Award winner Tom Sturridge is on headlining duties here, playing Morpheus, aka the Lord of the Dreams. Trapped by a cult ritual in 1916, Dream arises 105 years later to once again re establish his kingdom. Morpheus will be joined by his six otherworldly endless siblings as the show develops, plus Patton Oswalt voicing. Matthew the Raven. Elsewhere, there's roles for the likes of Game of Thrones' Gwendolyn Christie and Charles Dance, Narcos's Boyd Holbrook, Doctor Who's Jenna Coleman, and Harry Potter's David Thewlis. Number 5. Halo the Halo video game franchise is a legitimate phenomenon, having sold over 80 million units since the first game landed on Xbox in November 2001, 
finally, after years of hype, a live action Halo TV series is headed to Paramount Plus, with the show expected to premiere in the second half of 2022. Pulling directly from the established source material, Halo will focus on a monumental 26th century war between mankind and the alien threat known as the Covenant. The Wires' Pablo Schreiber will star as franchise fave Master Chief, and Jen Taylor gets to play the Cortana AI character who she's voiced in the gaming series over the years. Due to the sheer ridiculous popularity of all things Halo, this one will have a major spotlight shone on it when it eventually does make its way to Paramount's streaming service. We can only hope that the wait was worth it, for if a Halo series is done right, it should make for some fantastic television. Number 4. Secret Invasion by its title alone, Marvel's Secret Invasion has the potential to be epic. The 08 Secret Invasion saw the shape-shifting Skrulls invade Earth, infiltrate certain superhero teams, and end up in an all-out war with the likes of Iron Man, Spider-Man, Black Widow, Wolverine, Wasp, and Nick Fury's Secret Warriors. TV-wise, the Secret Invasion series will be more minimalistic. While the Skrulls will indeed have infiltrated all facets of Earth life, the only heroes confirmed to appear so far are Nick Fury, Maria Hill, and Skrull ally Talos. That said, the involvement in unknown roles of Olivia Colman, Amelia Clark, and Happy Gilmore uber prick Christopher McDonald certainly grabs the attention. Number 3. House of the Dragon Considering how opinion splitting the final episode, or rather final season for that point, of Game of Thrones was, any return to the world of Westeros is always going to garner attention both good and bad. From HBO, Thrones' prequel offering House of the Dragon is on the way later this year, with a premiere date yet to be revealed. Taking place 200 years before the events of what we saw across Game of Thrones 8 seasons, this upcoming series will detail the rise of House Targaryen to power. Amongst the core cast of House of the Dragon, Dead Man's Shoes Paddy Considine is King Viserys Targaryen, Truth Seekers Emma Darcy is his daughter Rhaenyra Targaryen, and Doctor Who's Matt Smith is Viserys' brother Daemon Targaryen, with Daemon lusting after Rhaenyra in a way that's very much in tune with the ew-inducing incest of the Main Throne series. There are plenty of other huge names attached, fleshing out the faces of House of the Dragon, with Colony co-creator Ryan J. Condal having developed the series with George R. R. Martin. Number 2. The Lord of the Rings It's over four years since Amazon first announced it had purchased the rights for a Lord of the Rings TV series, confirming in November 2017 that said rights had been picked up for a cool $250 million. And that show is now finally on the relatively immediate horizon. Plot specifics are still pretty loose at this point in time, although we do know that The Lord of the Rings will take place in the Second Age of Middle-earth. That means the action will be set thousands of years before the events of The Hobbit and the standard Lord of the Rings trilogy. Expect to see a first proper trailer at some point across the coming months, and expect the internet to react with an outpouring of love slash hate for it. Number 1. Pam and Tommy to hear that the infamous Pamela Anderson and Tommy Lee sex tape scandal of 1995 was being turned into a TV series, well, that news really came out of left field. As the titular pair Pam and Tommy, Lily James and Sebastian Stan are on headlining duties, as this eight-episode Hulu miniseries explores how said tape made its way out into the public and the impact all of this had on the marriage between Anderson and Lee. By all accounts, Pam and Tommy is set to be a steamy series that will get plenty of people talking, while the first trailer for the show also promises a fun tone and energy to proceedings as James and Stan embrace these most unique of roles. And that's the end of our list, but do let us know down in that comment section if you can think of any upcoming shows you reckon are gonna break the internet. As always, I've been Jess from What Culture. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you like, you can come say hi to me on my Twitter account where I'm at JessMcDonald, but make sure you stay tuned to us here for plenty more great content.